to be a kingdom of priests, to ascend the hill of the Lord and to stand in his holy place, right? <laughs> Messiah said, no one comes unto the Father except by me. And in Bill's humble opinion, and I'm again speaking in general terms here, Somewhere along the way, we have forgotten this. Somewhere along the way, we have gotten so focused on what it looks like, on what it sounds like, that we have forgotten that that's supposed to be a true reflection of what it's really on the inside. Because it doesn't matter if your last name is Cohen or Cloud, that doesn't save you. What matters is, do we have clean hands? Do we have a pure heart? You can dress it up on the outside and it can have all the things that to the eye it would seem to be holy. You know, the tabernacle that Moses erected, the instant that Moses erected it, and put all the furnishings into place and all the hooks and bars and everything was just exactly the way the Creator described it to him on the mountain. At the instant that he set that up, I recommend to you that it was just a tent. It was just a tabernacle. It wasn't yet functioning in its purpose. Because the reason the Creator said, let them build me a sanctuary is so that my that I might dwell among them, that I might be in and among my people. And until his presence was in that house, it really didn't function in its purpose.